Excel and Sheets for Marketers. Really, a whole course on Excel and Sheets for Marketers? Seems like a bit of overkill, doesn't it? Well, I would argue, no. I would argue this is exactly the course that digital marketers need. And I'll tell you why. Just about every software package that a digital marketer uses, whether it's SEM Rush or SpyFu or Moz or Google Analytics or whatever, every package has a way to download data into Excel. Now, it may be easier or maybe more convenient to access the data through the API, but every single package will download data into Excel. Excel really is the lingua franca, the common language of data. And that's what this course is about. We'll talk about taking that data, making the necessary connections between the different data sources, and pulling out insights from those data sources, insights that are relevant to your specific data. Hi. My name is Fred Pike. I'm a Managing Director at Northwoods Digital in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm the CFO, which means I spend a lot of my time in spreadsheets. But I also lead up the Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager practice here. And that's really my passion and where I spend a lot of time with clients. I got my start with spreadsheets longer ago than I'd care to admit. Early in my career, I was a COBOL programmer. And at one point, there was a downturn in the economy, and I was sitting around the office with nothing to do. The office had just purchased an Apple II and a copy of VisiCalc. VisiCalc, the visible calculator, the very first killer app that drove the sale of so many PCs. There were three or four of us that just got entranced by VisiCalc. There was even an undocumented feature, a programming language that you could write macros with. Holy cow, that was amazing. So that was my introduction to spreadsheets. I went from VisiCalc to Lotus123, ultimately to Excel, and of course I spend a fair amount of my time in Sheets nowadays as well. I have to say that Excel is my favorite. It's more powerful than anything I've ever worked with. But Sheets is pretty darn good too. It has most of the functionality of Excel, maybe not in quite as smooth a way of doing things, but still the functionality is there. So. If you're a Sheets user, there'll be plenty in this course for you. As a matter of fact, most of the lessons are broken up into Excel time and Sheets time. We'll spend as much time in Sheets as we do in Excel. I'll cover all the topics that I think you need to learn to be fluent and knowledgeable in spreadsheets. Most of those are ones that I think are important, but I also checked out what other people think. There is a blog post I read, for example, on the top 25 Excel interview questions. Some good stuff in there. I also follow MS Excel on Twitter, and that account recently asked its followers to list the functions that they thought were the most powerful ones. I learned some things from there as well to include in this course, and I've included some Twitter screenshots to show this conversation. I tried to keep most of the lessons short, about 10 to 15 minutes, and I did that for two reasons. First, I just finished a course from John Hopkins University, and all the lessons were about that length. I found that really useful because when I had just a bit of time, I could dive in and grab that lesson. That was really cool. Second, I remember seeing a CXL survey of students recently, which said that they really preferred shorter lessons, so I thought I would accommodate that here. But don't think 10 to 15 minutes is all you'll need to spend. When I first took my Google Analytics course many years ago, I would spend 10 to 15 minutes in the course, and then I'd spend 45 minutes or 60 minutes or longer in one of my Google Analytics accounts and try to use what I had just learned in the lesson. So I really wanted to make that knowledge my own. I wanted to look at it through my own data and that helped me learn Google Analytics quite a bit. You should do the same thing here with the lessons in this course. You will have the spreadsheets from the course, so you can go through the examples I did using my data, but even better, download the data from your own Google Search Console or your own Google Analytics account and use the menus, functions, commands that we cover in the course on your own data. That will really make it more relevant for you. I hope you'll sign up for the course. If you already know pivot tables and all the lookup functions, this course is probably not for you. But you can still tag along, enjoy some of my terrible humor, enjoy some of the fun gifts we'll have in the course, and there's even a gif of my dog coming up. Boy, that's something to look forward to. I hope to see you in the course. Thanks a lot.